Say something for the podcast. Tell the people what you feel. I'm just jazzed about being on the show, man. You are listening to The Objective Jerk, where objectiveness is the objective, and I am said jerk. What's up? Uh, How are you guys all doing today? I'm recording this podcast as a a video to go with it, I guess, so I can upload it to, I guess, YouTube and other stuff. Um, I've been kind of... What do you call it? I guess putting it off for a while. Um, before I get really into it, though, uh, if you would like to email me, please do it. The objective jerk at gmail.com or you can find me on Twitter, Facebook, and all that stuff. Um, so. So, yeah, so some podcast or a lot of podcasts now are like video and, you know, not just audio. And. Um, but, you know, I'm not going to I'm not. I don't have the patience to like edit me talking. I, I tried it a couple times and it's just like, ugh, I just, I don't know. Like I could maybe make a short, cool, I don't know, maybe like some kind of like artistic video or something. I don't know, maybe, but I don't have, I don't have much patience for anything anymore. So, but uh, anyway, so I do have uh, like a DLSR right here um i don't have my thing up so i don't even know what let me pull <laughs> okay there we go yeah so it's a canon you know it's, it's a cheaper one it's a rebel whatever i don't even think i don't know if they make them anymore but i actually got that for like a photography class that i took uh man it was a while ago now but um i actually had a lot of fun in that class and i started using photoshop again and but then, and I'm like, when it's over, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep taking pictures. But I didn't. Um, so it's like I need to have like a reason, I guess. I don't know. I mean, what's the reason for this? I don't know. But like, I enjoyed taking pictures, but I remember that, like, it was Halloween, and I had to do. Uh, a night I had to take a bunch of night pictures or something like that was the assignment and um I didn't really I missed out on how trick-or-treating with the kids you know because I was so busy looking for the oh okay right there and so it's like I didn't I didn't like that so I don't know I wish I did but (laughs) I just I don't know I'm kind of like I'm I'm more I remember taking some pictures and making some stuff and being really proud and thinking it's cool. But at the same time, I'm just like, you know, I'd rather just like enjoy it, enjoy the moment, just look at it and not be busy with trying to get a picture or a video. But anyway, so I had that camera and I did, I had a YouTube channel briefly. I was like, when I was playing around with stuff before I did uh, podcasting, or I think I did the podcasting. I was like playing around with what I wanted to do. And so I went through and I got the camera and I got the cords for it. And you had to download the EOS uh, webcam, webcam utility thing and all this kind of crap. And finally would get it to work. And so I did a few videos, but I was just like, just kind of like the podcast. I was pretty lazy. I was like, I didn't, I didn't want to spend too much time editing. <clears throat> like for this one, I think I'm just going to slap up the, the podcast logo at the beginning and then that's it. But, um, I don't know. It just wasn't really. So then before when I was doing this podcast, the objective jerk pretty aggressively or I don't know, not aggressively, but pretty regularly anyway. And then I would make little sound bites and stuff and I'd put them on YouTube and I'd put them on on uh, TikTok and stuff, which, you know, kind of works. It's all right. But at the same time, it's like, I think people are like, oh, let's see in a video. I don't want to watch it. And they just, you know what I mean? So it's like, I need to have a video. Plus I was trying to like, I didn't want, I wanted anonymity. Ooh, I think I said it right that time. So I didn't want my face, but then it's like, I was like, eh, whatever. Um, 
because I mean, look at this. It's crazy. So, so that's what this kind of this this episode isn't really. I wasn't like, oh man, I gotta talk about this. So, because that's kind of what I've been trying to do is when I'm kind of wanting to share my opinions and or frustrations. That's what I do it on this. So, and that's what I've been doing. Except for this one, I'm just, I wanted to try this out how I'm going to do the video. So I don't know what I'm going to talk about. Um, I, I, let's see. So my, my cat do the cat, the animal situation here in the Philippines is just insane. There are stray animals everywhere. And, uh, especially probably here in the, well, I don't know, probably in Manila, it's bad too, I guess, but living out here in the country, you know, animals have places to go in the wood line and everything. But cats, man, cats are, you don't have to go and adopt a cat. A cat will find you. And then you have a cat, you feed it, and you got a cat. But then you got to, you know, get it shots and everything and stuff like that. So, so here I am. Well, let's see. A little backstory, as usual. Um, let's see. I had, when we first got here, I found a cat that was like, not really a stray, like it was a, a kitten of a mother that lived in the market area that lived by, you know, and people fed it and, you know, the cat was fine. And, um, so I was like, we need a cat cause I don't like mice and stuff in the house. I don't think anybody does, but, um, so we got this cat and he was a male and we had him for, I don't know, six months at least, maybe longer. And then he just disappears. And my wife's like, you know, I think it might be the guy across the street, you know, killing cats and stuff like that. And I'm like, man, if I catch that guy. Um, and then after him, we we were thrown on, like, somebody was like, oh, hey, I know where uh, some kittens are. Do you want one? Yeah. She brings, like, three. And I'm like, what the crap? One was missing an eye. And so we had them for a while. And one got ran over. And the other two disappeared again. And I'm just like, what the crap, man? This guy killing all these cats? Because that's what males do. We got, and then we we got an orange one, striped orange cat, really pretty male. Took him home. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to try and keep him inside as much as possible. Had him for another six months or so. And then all of a sudden, phew, gone. And it's just like, what the hell? And I'm... Not to say that somebody didn't maybe kill those cats, but I'm like, God, it's kind of a lot. And it's kind of, I don't know what I'm kind of thinking is. So there's this other male that basically owns this area of where I live. We named him Butch just because he just, he, he's a survivor. You can just tell, you know, he just, you know what I mean? But he's like really chill and his meow is like, meow, meow. you know what I mean? He's like Tyson little talk to you, you know, but he's like, he'll mess you up. And so he has gotten one cat that we had pregnant before. And it's like, there are times where I just want to feed him antifreeze. <laughs> and then other times I just like, okay, we need to maybe try and get him fixed, but would have to get a trap to get him. Cause he's not skittish. He'll let you pet him, but he's very cautious. But anyway, I kind of like having him around. Cause you know, it's just, he just, he is, he's a survivor, you know what I mean? And so a while back, okay, the whole, so this cat, I'm thinking, I forgot where I was going with this. I'm thinking this guy basically pushed away the other male cats. You know what I mean? There's male cats in this area and he's like, Hey, this is my turf. So all this pussy is mine. And I'm thinking he scared them off. That's what I'm thinking. Um, so, and then we got a, another female kit. And she's like little. And there, she was in heat a while back. And we tried our best to keep her inside. And she ended up getting pregnant. And she just gave birth yesterday to four kittens. Oh, and I'm just like, oh, man. And, um, you know, she's, so she's a small cat and her stomach was huge and, 
And, uh, but even then I was thinking like two or three, you know, she had four, but she was, I remember she was yesterday. It was like, she was meow, just acted different. And I'm like, oh man, she's in labor. She's going into labor. I know it. And then she went underneath the couch and I'm like, oh man, that's where you're going to do it. And then, yeah, that's where she did it. A couple hours later, my kids are like, I hear some kittens. And I'm like, oh, look underneath the couch. And, um, so yeah, so they were there. The kittens were there and then, but she was not. And I was like, what the crap? And then in like another hour or something, she's not there. And I'm like, oh man, cause she was kind of young, you know? Um, but I mean, I guess she was old enough, but still. And I was thinking like either she's like, what is going on and took off or she died. Maybe she went somewhere and died. And I was like, man, I was like, I don't want to be feeding these kittens. And so I went around, looked for her and I found her in our laundry room. She's just kind of there. I think she was like freaked out. So by that time we had gotten a box and some blankets. We put the kittens in there and we put them in this, our little extra room in the corner, you know? And, um, <clears throat> so I grabbed her. I mean, one of the kittens still had his placenta attached to it, you know, she hadn't even eaten that or nothing yet. So, so I think she was just weirded out. Like what happened? But then her instincts kicked in, you know, I grabbed her, I put her in there and she stayed there all night and she's cleaned them up and fed them and stuff. So, so that's good. Um, oh, I'm blocking the camera, probably doing that. See, that's the thing too, is like, I gotta worry about where I at, where I'm at in the, in the, in the, in the camera. Let's see, what was I doing? I guess it was all right. Anyway. Um, so, la, 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 la. so, okay. So here, we, that's where we're at. So I don't, so I need to get my cat fixed after this. Like I need to make sure she gets fixed so she can't get pregnant anymore. I, I don't know. I might keep one of the male kittens because it's a descendant of this butch guy. But if I do, I'm going to get him fixed. So then he'll stick around and he won't feel the need to go and find. And it's like, I kind of want to get this butch guy, get him fixed. But at the same time, I'm like, man, but if I get him fixed, he, you know, more male cats are going to come. So the cool thing about him is he keeps the male cats away, the other ones. So if I have a female that's fixed and, you know, he just comes and hangs out and whatever, and I don't have to worry about dollars. <laughs> Oh man, I totally thought I saw something. I'm gonna have to go back and watch that. Was it over there? Hold on, I'm gonna pause something real quick. <laughs> okay, so that was my son, he did come in, I guess. I thought he was outside the window, but he said the door wasn't locked all the way. So, oh crap, hold on. I did something wrong with my stupid video now. <sighs> See, this is why I don't do this crap. Hold on. All right, I'm thinking I'm gonna have to do a lot more editing because I don't know how this is actually. <clears throat> all right, I'll get to that. Where am I at? I'm only at 13 minutes. Okay, so. My son actually was in the room. He was, I thought he was outside the window, but I guess he came in and I just, but he snuck out and I didn't even, I don't have to watch, it's gonna look creepy, I think. But anyway, the door wasn't locked all the way, so he came in. Anyway, um, so that's my cat situation going on. So with the, okay, now I'm moving on to the podcast and the video. So how did I go? I didn't even finish what I was talking about with the camera, did I? Or did I? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so I did all that before and, you know, it was a pain in the ass. And then I put the I put the camera away or I stopped doing that. And then so again, when I'm like thinking, OK, I'm going to I'm going to do this again, but I'm going to try and keep it like I'm going to try and do it really simple and not get like try and get fancy with it. I'm going to actually make it like black and white and grainy and just, you know what I mean? Just something different and easy. <laughs> so, 
Um, so I was getting the camera out and trying to test everything, and it's the same kind of crap was going on. It wouldn't work. It wouldn't read the thing. I'm trying to, and every time I turn the camera on, say you have to download the, the, the um, the utility app two, the second one or something, and I can't find that anywhere. You go to Canon website, they have a pro which you got to pay for, and I'm just like, what the crap, dude? This is too much. So I abandoned that. And now I'm using the webcam that's in my my computer. And so I I already had this little program called, what is it called? Tap Record, which I had used to make a few TikTok videos. But, you know, those were short. So for me to... Um, record longer ones I had to actually buy it which it wasn't much so I paid for the for the little app and but my what so what my thing is I don't know how well it's gonna work audio wise I'm hoping I can just take the video I think I should I didn't well that's one of the reasons I'm doing this so I can find out exactly what I gotta do but I'm hoping I can take the video and do that what I want and then the the program I'm using to record the audio as well, it just do my podcast like normal. So that's what I'm hoping. But here, we'll see. We'll find out. But that's why I'm doing this is because I want to kind of test it out and stuff and get it, get it figured out. So that's why I'm just BSing right now. Um, 16 minutes. I need to minimize this too so I can see it. What if I could put this up somewhere, like a small window? That's an idea. Let's see, minimize, show keyboard, show musical typing, what? Hide library, smart, show editor, show notepad, show looper browser? I don't know. I don't want to mess with it right now. Figure it out later, I guess. Whoa, okay, no, it's still gone. I guess I'll just have to do it myself, kind of. Anyway, I'm just trying to keep track of time. So, this is a professional studio? I don't know. Okay, I need to minimize this because I keep looking at myself. Either that or I need to move it here. So, but, I don't know. I don't want to. Anyway, okay, I'm going to minimize that. It's in the middle, so, well, that doesn't matter. The camera's in the middle. It's like I'm moving the screen thinking that's gonna adjust the view. No, <laughs> I know, I'm an idiot. That's why I joined the army. Anyway, so, so what's going on? <laughs> Let me see, hold on. Uh, I, gotta, I gotta think of something to talk about. 18 minutes. I've only been doing this for 18 minutes. Um, so now I'm looking to see if there's something to kind of spark my whatever Justice League. So, man, I hate that's the thing I hate about Facebook, kind of is you'll get on like a group, a fan group, or fan page or something, and the posts are relentless. It's like it, it's like you then you end up wanting it's like you want to kind of see some stuff and whatever, but it's like, dude, it's just non-stop. Blam, blam, Justice League, Justice League, Justice League, Snyderverse. Because I joined like a, I don't know, it's like, you know, I, wa I read like some sort of meme or something I thought was kind of funny. And then I was like, okay. Or no, I had a comment and that's what it was. I was commenting on it and you have to join obviously to make a comment. So I wanted to make the comment. And then now it's like multiple times a day. There's a post. It's like, dude, just like once a week. Can we just do that? Can we just do that? No, of course not. Anyway, so I am, what else am I doing? Oh, okay. So I'm really trying to focus on the base again. So when I get, when I'm, when I'm Mr. Hyde, I don't. Sorry, I hear some talking or yelling, making sure they're not trying to, I'm so lazy I won't edit this out. Anyway, so 
the base. So when I'm when I'm hide, um, you know, I don't, I don't uh, play the base. Like I don't even, you know, touch it. So, okay, I'm trying to do something and talk at the same time and it's not working out. Oh man, what the? What? Okay, so an hour later, here I am getting back onto the podcast. Sorry about that. So the door was not working right. I locked it, but it wasn't the plunger or whatever it is that goes into the little hole <laughs> um, was going in just enough to hold the door closed. But then if you push on the door, it would push open. So this is this is this is what I'm gonna talk about at the end of this podcast is a gripe about the Philippines. I think I've I might have brought it up before, but Earthquakes. Earthquakes happen here all the time. We're on an island. You know, I get it. Um, they're all pretty minor. Um, nothing, I mean, so far anyway. You know, there's a couple times where I was worried about something falling over, like on a shelf or something had fallen over. I've had a, a vase that I really liked that broke. I was really kind of pissed off about. But other than that, it's, you know, it's pretty minor. But every time there is an earthquake there is a door in my house that does not work the same so i mean the earthquakes are you know once a month to once every couple months you know generally give or take and every time that there is i will find a door that just doesn't close the same like it kind of rubs like it doesn't shut smoothly or it doesn't lock at all like this one it's like the earthquake kind of it's because I guess because everything's concrete, so it kind of mo- shifts a little bit. It's not, there's no flex to like with wood houses and nails and stuff. So every single time, man, there's a door that just all of a sudden will not fit. And I'd have to like sand it down or adjust the hinges or it's like, it, it, it's, it's, it's annoying. <laughs> so that's what happened is we had an earthquake last night and then now all of a sudden, our bedroom door, you know, wouldn't, it would lock, but you could just push it open really easy. So that's why my son came in earlier, scared the crap out of me. And then my wife came in and interrupted. So I had to put like some spacers or something. So the plate on the door jam, so the plunger would, you know, so it fit right. But it's like, it's still not even... You know, it's like, that's the thing is like, you, I could, I could go out of my way, buy a whole new like doorknob and door jam and this and that. And it's like a perfect door and it fits great. But then in a couple months, it's going to be all jacked up. It won't fit right. And it's like, you're, you're constantly battling with that, man. There's got to be a better way. Like maybe, so you can't do anything with wood though, man. Termites here are, are just relentless, man. They eat everything. I mean, they eat everything everywhere, but they're just, they're they're everywhere here though. I mean, I was cleaning out uh, my garage and I had, I don't know if I talked about this actually. So I had a pallet that I had my drum set sitting on and I decided to make some room. I had to change the garage up a little bit. So I was going to move the pallet and put the drums, kind of put them away, cover them up. I'm not playing on them right now. I want to focus on my bass. And so I moved my drums, and then when I picked up that pallet, it was just termites had been eaten underneath this pallet for months. I mean, the pallet was still, for the most part, together, but there was just so much byproduct from them eating and whatever and building. And there was just thousands, millions, probably millions, not probably, there was millions of termites there. Like, just, I was like, oh my, so luckily I had some spray and I broke it all up and sprayed them all and killed them all and got rid of it. But it was just like, dude, I cr- I've committed like mass genocide on insects in one evening. It was crazy. But yeah, so the termites, so you can't do much with wood. Like I said, I built a little cover for my uh, barbecue grill 
I used wood because it's cheaper and I know how to work with it better. You know, I have a welder, but I suck at welding. Um, but now I wish I kind of just would have bought the metal pipe things that do it and everything because it's just, I was, termites were already starting to move into it and I sprayed it and everything like that. And I think it's good now, but who knows, you know, like a year from now, all of a sudden it's just going to like, one of the legs is just going to go out on it or something. So you see why, I mean, there's tricks, there's tricks around it, I guess. Like if you built like a small like concrete pillar for the footing and then put the wood on top of that, that's better because, you know, the bugs aren't going to, they're just going to think it's concrete. They're not going to go all the way up. They're not like ants. You know how ants just get everywhere and search. Termites are not the same. So that's why some houses here, like the first floor is concrete and then the second floor is like wood and it will last because as long as you're not, you know, close to trees or something. But anyway, so yeah, so that's it. So that's living here in the Philomamapines. Um, let's see, where am I at? I'm at 26 minutes. So uh, I think that's probably about it. I think I might call it good. Um, and oh, I got this thing on my head, huh? Because <laughs> I was sweating earlier. That's what I wear. It's actually a sleeve to a shirt, but yeah, because I sweat so freaking much here, which I knew I would, you know, um, my ancestors are Viking, Norwegian, Norway, so cold weather, I'm good, but hot weather, oh man, and I thought I would uh, acclimate better than I have, and sometimes when I think I do, it's just, no, so now it's like, ugh. Tremendous. Anyway, okay, that's it. I'm done talking. So thanks for listening. Uh, please uh, send me an email at theobjectivejerker at gmail.com or message me on Twitter and Facebook and all that stuff. All right, uh, I'll talk to you later. See you.